It's a little snowy today, just a little bit. It's gonna be a minor setback. I have been driving this canyon for 16 years now. This is by far the worst I've ever seen it. The worst. This is unreal. Ay, 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 ay. This is how deep the snow is at the house. <laughs> My door pushed the snow out. Oh, there's such a huge snow drift on the road. Well, good morning. Don't tell me you got a lot of snow. Without telling me you got a lot of snow. You guys, if you are in Utah, you are experiencing the same storm that I just experienced last night. There was so much snow at the house that when I opened my truck door, it was actually touching the snow. That's a lot of snow. So I've spent all yesterday trying to keep it out by papering off the windows that weren't completely sealed off. And uh, I've shoveled most of the snow out. I'm not sure what to do with that one. I have to like open the window to get that one back out. Maybe I'll bring it over here. All of these windows have been sealed off again. Um, and this is my crude way of doing it because I can't get out there to staple the paper down in. Um, and I didn't want to staple it on this side because then it still comes in. So I wanted to create a way to get the, the snow out. So one across and one in the middle, kind of at an angle. <laughs> because there is shingles out there, even though you can't see. We do have a complete roof all the way. The house is watertight from the roof down, but when the snow is blowing sideways, there's not much you can do about that. So we had to spend yesterday getting this place sealed off and then reshoveled out. And then today getting the driveway shoveled so that we could actually get down into the home, me and the subcontractors coming. But what I'm working on is super cool. In the last video that we did, I showed you how to mark the center line and kind of lay out for this bathroom and we drilled it. I drilled it for a standard drain, which is a two inch hole and it's perfect. The only thing we have to keep in mind now is that this tub that sits here is a standalone tub. So there's no access to drain outside of it or underneath it once the sheetrock's in and the tub doesn't come in until after the sheetrock. So how do you get around plumbing it properly? You do it with a special kind of drain. This is an in-floor drain. And what happens is it has, it has a rubber grommet on the inside. This piece mounts flush into the floor and then my plumber will connect to the bottom of it, just like normal glue, everything. But that rubber grommet that's in there will seal around one of these brass pieces. These are one of the downspouts that's gonna go to the bottom of the tub and it will seal into that. And it creates a watertight fit and a gas tight fit so that no sewer gas comes back through it as well. So it's not smelly and it's waterproof. So I'm gonna show you how to install one of these so it's ready for your rough plumbing. A cool tool that does come with it is the plug for two purposes. One is so that you can seal this and make sure that your stuff is not leaking anywhere. Um, and then two, it keeps debris out. Really cool. If you're wondering what kind of drain that is, that is a freestanding tub floor drain. So I will link this particular one in the description down below. And uh, I bought it from Standard Plumbing. They've been uh, really easy to work with, easy to find parts, and they deliver to most places. So that's kind of nice. So I'm gonna show you how we install this guy. Since we've already got our hole drilled, and I know where my center lines are, I'm gonna kind of just draw them a little bit bigger so I can see them. Then we can center this to the best of our ability. And the cool part is, is I can see the shadow from down below, so I can totally center it. Then we'll trace this. Now maybe you're thinking, Joel, why are you tracing this when you have hole saws? Well, one, a hole saw really won't work so good on here now because you've punched out the middle. It's a lot harder to keep it square, it's possible. But two, I don't have a exact four inch hole saw. I have bigger or smaller and we need exactly four inches. I don't wanna go buy one because I do have a jigsaw. And a jigsaw is great. Thanks grandpa for letting me borrow yours. 
A jigsaw is a tool that most people do have, and it's kind of the OG hole cutting saw. So this is what you can use to just follow that line and it'll be good to go. Now with our hole to four inches and still centered, it'll sit right down in. That looks pretty good. Now we can screw this in. And this is the only fitting that I am officially putting in for good. It's just gonna be fixed in there. They sent this cool little cap that comes with it just to protect it. It sits right down in there, nice and tight. And now, hopefully nobody will bump that. And with it so shallow like that, we can tile right up to it. And you actually leave this in while tiling. And then when you're done, you pull it out. And then you can uh, have your perfect opening and it's all sealed that way. So this drain is good to go. Now my plumber can just connect right to it in the bottom and we're ready. If you're wondering what the weather's been like in Logan, for the past week, two weeks, like this, just windy, really breezy, really drifty, fixing window coverings every single day. It is gonna be a disaster upstairs right now. House is uh, secured again for a minute. Well, that's the third tractor I've passed this morning going to get gas. The snow isn't really coming down so hard, but it's the wind and it is blowing these drifts everywhere. There's so much snow. empty so we got to go get fuel now I'm not sure if we're done plowing or not but I can't see up the road to head to the house or not and I don't dare head up and run into him so we just might be hunkering down here for a minute 
That porter potty seems like it's two miles away when it's snowing like this outside. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Holy cannoli. <laughs>